We are at it again. The Yankees have made another big trade, as I suspected that they might, but not necessarily who I thought it would be. So the Yankees have acquired Anthony Rizzo from the Cubs, and they've traded away two prospects, a right-handed pitcher, Alexander Vizcaino, and an outfielder, Kevin Alcantara. And they, I believe, were ranked on that MLB.com list uh, 10th and 12th. I believe Vizcaino was 10th and Alcantara was 12th. Vizcaino is further along, uh, a little bit older, a little bit on the older side, but uh, whereas Alcantara is more of a, I think, a more of a high upside younger player. Um, and Rizzo, uh, the Cubs are paying for all of Rizzo's salary for the season. So, and I hadn't mentioned in, in the Joey Gallo episode, but Texas is actually paying for Gallo's salary, I believe just for this season. Uh, almost certain that it wouldn't be for next season as well, but still, that's part of it. So the Yankees, in effect, are giving away maybe higher value prospects so they can stay under the luxury tax and um, and acquire you know, the likes of Gallo and Rizzo, and maybe there's more. So, but this was definitely something, I mean, this is a, a pretty big move. They're really going for it, right? If there was any question, buyers, sellers, I mean, clearly they, they're all in. Um, and with Rizzo, I, I think it's exciting um, just because he's not having like the most amazing season, but he is good for walks and he doesn't strike out all too. I mean, like, He's known for someone who has great patience, but doesn't strike out that much, right? So when I spoke about Joey Gallo, there's a lot of walks and there are a lot of strikeouts as well. But, you know, that's just not the case when it comes to Rizzo. So walk, I'm, I'm trying to find Rizzo's walk rate this year. Um, because usually it's, it's among the highest in the league. So let me see here. Um, not not as much as it normally is, but that strikeout percentage it has to be one of the lower ones, which is I, I've always said this from the Yankees perspective, is, is making contact is just so critical. And yeah, he is among qualified players in baseball, like the top 22 players in terms of lack of strikeouts. But for, for Rizzo, it has been a little bit of a struggle this year. 14 homers, 40 RBIs is solid. Uh, 248 batting average, 346 on base, and a 792 OPS. So, and I think at Yankee Stadium, that might play well for him. He's been pretty hot lately, and he's a very good fielder. And he has, you know, big game experience, having won a World Series. Whereas, like, you know, obviously with Gallo, you don't have that. So with Rizzo, there's a leadership element here. Uh, like I said, really good defender bit of a character guy that I think fans will gravitate to. And I think his teammates, you know, will be popular in that clubhouse. So yes, it is just a rental, but who knows? Maybe, you know, if Rizzo does well, maybe there could be some sort of agreement, you know, for the future. So I, I like this trade. I, I like the player. I think I probably like this deal more than Gallo, but you have to take into account that Gallo is under contract next season. But I think with Rizzo, there could be a little bit of a rejuvenation you know, thing going on with him where the Cubs were struggling a little bit lately. But what does it mean now for the big, you know, for the Yankees in terms of, you know, the lineup, everything like that? I think Luke Voigt, I'm expecting to do, you know, uh, another episode here uh, in regards to a Luke Voigt trade. It, it seems pretty inevitable. I thought that it might have made sense to trade him after, you know, this past season. His value has dropped a bit in terms of, you know, he struggled, a lot of injuries, but there's definitely still value to be had there. But I think Voigt's on the way out, I think, soon as well. So that leaves you, you know, across the diamond, Rizzo at first, LeMayu at second, Glaber at short, Urshel at third, Gallo in left. Center field is probably Brett Gardner on most nights would be my guess, although Greg Allen could factor into that Aaron judge and right Stanton DH, but you know, Rudin Odor now is certainly a bench player more so than he had been. I mean, obviously he's been playing a lot lately. So, you know, we'll see um, what Rizzo can bring to this lineup, but it's just, it's interesting when you think about the lineup now, right? With Rizzo and Gallo, two lefties, the Yankees desperately needed some left-handed pop. So you had LeMayu, 
you know, at leading off Judge, then Rizzo, possibly. Then it might be Stanton. And I look, I don't want Stanton back cleanup. I'm just thinking more along the lines of what the Yankees might be thinking. I think Stanton should be moved down the lineup, absolutely. But let's just say, you know, Stanton fourth, uh, Gallo fifth, Glaber sixth, Sanchez seventh, or, you know, that could go either way, Geo eighth. That's a pretty deep lineup. I mean, that's definitely, it's much improved. But we'll see what happens. But I, I think Cashman's certainly going for it. And I can't hate on him that much for doing so honestly i don't think that what they're getting rid of is anything too crazy um i think they're being smart about it and i think there's still more moves to come so again another you know big time lefty bat that the yankees desperately desperately needed with also good defense rizzo's plus defense gallo's plus defense so if, if there were yankee fans that were kind of you know getting a little you know tired of this team and deservedly so now you kind of have a little bit of a reason to get drawn back in with these acquisitions and again i think that there could be more to come but again yankees acquire anthony rizzo